All right, folks. Wow, look at this landscape. Look at this landscape. This is Age of Empires here. I'm really excited for this. Gray is in here. Gray is apparently... Oh, no, Gray is in the Diplo menu. So that is what is happening. But, you know, welcome, everybody. Uh, We've got a really cool-looking map here. We've got eight players. And, of course, in our community games, we've got eight kings. And everyone here wants to be that one player that comes out on top. They'll call their friends, call their parents, call their family, and say, hey, that was me. All right? And uh, they'll be like, why should I care? But for us, in this community, it really matters. And some people are in this game for the very first time. So first, let's just note, it looks like they started with a Yurumi Swordsman. So everyone's got a Yurumi Swordsman here. So that is a pretty strong unit that they you are using here as their scout. So in the green, experienced community game players should be one of the favorites in this game. We've got Lorhe. Lorhe's been around a while. Was able to be rigged in yet again here, playing as the Burmese. In the orange, we have uh, Zwinarin. Zwinarin playing as the Persians in the orange, which I already said, but I've just chugged a bunch of coffee and you're going to have to deal with me. In the yellow, we've got Big Tasty Bacon. Big Tasty Bacon has played before. Um, and Big Tasty Bacon will bring some of that experience here to weaken the boar with the TC. Sheesh! Playing as the Incas. In the gray, we have the Silver Lady. The Silver Lady playing as the Burgundians. Um, in the blue, we have Coley. Or is it Coli? Hmm. I'm gonna go with Coley. <laughs> Instead of Coli. Um, anyways, Coley's playing as the Bohemians. In the teal, we've got Oh My Goth. A wonderful name who unfortunately is playing as the Berbers because I require players to go for random sieve. I know I'm the worst. Um, in the purple, we have Young Neji playing as the Byzantines. And then last but not least, we have not Magnus Carlsen. We have Among Us Carlsen playing as the Slavs. And I'm excited to see how things play out. Everyone has ally, so they are all friends for the time being. And uh, a couple other small things I should remind you of with Hyper Random. Obviously, the map is very random and looks really, 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 really cool. However, uh, the amount on each resource is also different. So um, let's just define a boar. That's 419 food. This is 268 food. This gold tile is 1300 instead of 800. This stone tile is 533. So it seems like a little bit more food with this generation, a little bit more stone and gold to work with. Um... They've chatted a little bit. Big Tasty Bacon talking about getting Incas a lot over the last two days. The Silver Lady says, I got a sieve I, have, I know what to do with, which is great. Silver Lady did beg and plead with me to allow her to go for Persians. It wasn't exactly begging, but I, I did say, random sieve, please. And that's about it. Uh, I, I should mention, I you know, I do not know what time this will be uploaded, but this is going to be somewhere in around the holidays for many people. As well as just the new year. Um, it's the 15th of December, the day I'm doing this. And uh, it dawned on me, this is the last time I'm doing community games until it, 2024, which is just insane. I, I can't believe we're... I mean, I remember when it was 2020, and now it's going to be 2024. So thank you guys for uh, being with me in 2023. I've had an amazing year, an amazing time. I really enjoy doing this. And as always, having lots of fun. But... Remember, kings explode, and they start with a unit that could do a lot of damage here. I guess the Yurumi Swordsman is rather slow, but if someone's king is left out in the open, the Yurumi could maybe go to town. <laughs> T90, your son is winning two overs, Beleza. Uh, they grow up so fast. <laughs> yeah, the NAC5 qualifiers are going today. Uh, I'm obviously sticking with the community games. These berries are going by really fast. How much food is left on the berries? Did they take them all already? Yeah, I think they did. Let, let me just check real quick, guys, because I think this will be worth it. 45 food per bush. <laughs> That's funny. So literally 225 food for five bushes there. That's hyper random for you. But yeah, I'm not casting the NAC qualifiers today. I'll be casting the NAC qualifiers on Sunday when we get to the deciders, but... As much as I love the pro scene, man, I like to stick to the community games for a Friday. I'm a schedule-oriented individual. So resources, um, the outer golds, 
might not really be that important. Holy crap, look at this, guys. 661 stone per tile here. That is 6,600 6, stone right there. I imagine everyone's got a big chunk like that. Mm, it does look like there's there's quite a bit over here. I'm guessing for this chunk, it was actually two areas that got smushed together somehow. Map is very expansive. You also then have this massive wood line. And in the middle, you do have other golds, and obviously you've got hills. There's something about a hyper random man. It just looks cool. Like it's um, I, I don't know. It, there's just there's more variety to it, right, than mega random. And, and mega random is still good, right? It's it's still fun, especially if you're playing ranked and want something different. But I'm becoming more and more in love with hyper random when it comes to the landscape. Um, and, and like the variety of the map I would be completely fine with doing away with how the resources work and and how each resource is a little bit different all right so I just clicked it I might have spoiled it but live viewers if you had to guess the name for this tower what would you guess there's really only two options see I was a big scenario guy I would create scenarios that uh, I would then beat the AI with Okay, people said Tower of Flies. Okay, but there's another one. There's two options. A lot of people are saying Tower of Flies. The Accursed Tower. Thank you, Gimli. Yeah. This is the Tower of Flies. Now, you don't see any flies on it. So maybe there's been some recent pest control. But yeah, I remember this one. And it's just like, it, it's a hero building, actually, as I think what it was. Or maybe maybe it's not seen as a hero. But I often wonder, like, how recognizable that tower is. It seems like a lot of people seem to know it, though. It's in a lot of scenarios. All right, so conversation has been happening here. People are talking to each other, trying to find out how they're going to end up yes. trading in the long run. It seems like red, purple, red, purple, and teal are going to have an alliance, and they're already walling. Green also walling right next to Red's wall, so clearly these two aren't going to be very friendly. But that would make sense to maybe secure this area, get some markets down, trade that direction. I wonder if maybe we'll see the same from like orange, yellow, and gray on the other side. Have you seen the towers in the campaign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These towers were in the campaign. Um, I was a big CBA guy, so I played a lot of uh, Castle Blood. And they used to always have these towers as well. Uh-oh. This could be a bit of a problem here. Two tigers on one villager. This guy doesn't seem to care. We're going to get a woo-woo-woo-woo-woo. Once again, by the way, uh, smoke monkeys. I say once again because I've said this a lot with our community games recently. Smoke monkeys are like a Furious the Monkey Boys. So they do insane attack. Like, look, look at these stats. <laughs> These stats are unreal, but they do not automatically attack you. I've never seen someone attack the smoke monkey. Uh, the smoke monkey would probably win the battle. But only has 25 HP, so. I uh, did have some people asking me about playing on an Xbox. And, and you know, I'll kind of address it again here. So, I am not opposed to having people play in these games with Xbox. Obviously, I think playing with an Xbox with PC guys would, would make the game very difficult. It's already difficult to dip low and, and whatnot on a PC, I can only imagine. But some people play the game on Xbox. The thing is, I cannot do have Xbox players if we're doing any custom maps, which is what Hyper Random is, or any custom mods, which is what Exploding Kings is. So I would say 95% of the time, I'm doing something that that just wouldn't work on Xbox, which is unfortunate. And I've thought about trying to like branch out a little bit to like, you know, be more accepting, I suppose, of like people who play the game a different way. But I would still say like 98% of people, 99% of people even are not playing on Xbox. So I think because the mods and the maps make the games better, I'm not sure if I could make heavy compromise there. So we'll we'll see. Um but yeah, I wanted to address that point at least. So they they talked a little bit about how chatting is hard and and those you know discussions. All just bring me back to kind of what I was saying earlier. Lorhe is a good player. 
And Lorhe hasn't really chatted much. And Lorhe stonewalling here. So clearly green and red maybe don't trust each other. And gray now reaching out to Bacon and Coley. So that would be blue and yellow. Obviously, we did have some walls here from blue, but this is just like the safe walls. Blue's like, well, not sure who I can trust yet. What's up, Bob Lemon? Welcome. So players that seem to be kind of in the dark as far as conversation is concerned would maybe be orange right now, green. Uh, everyone else has chatted a little bit, but there hasn't been too much beyond that. Yo, Bazooka, thank you for the gifted subs. I am curious to see what red is like long-term here with that name. Red only to you. There are trees, hard to build market. You ain't here, says Teal. And then red never responded. Um, I, uh... I played Among Us with Age of Empires friends, and it sucked. It was horrible. Like, back in the Among Us phase, like, when it first came out, what was that, three years ago? Uh, Viper was playing, Dave was playing, Debbie was playing, uh, there was probably some other names you might know. Because there are some names you might not know. Anyways, I got invited, and they're begging me to join, and then all they did, freaking did was point at me the whole time. I hated it. It was the worst. I stopped playing after that night. I- I come up with a genuine case on why it wasn't me, and why it was somebody else, and then Dave's just, Dave and Viper just like, just talking smack about me. I just got thrown under the bus constantly. It was the worst. And then, of course, and then, of course, it actually was me, and I tried to play it cool, but I tried to play it too cool, and ah, it was just, ah. Stupid game, I'll tell you. Just stupid game. I don't know how it got popular. It's just horrible. It's just a bad game. Just a bad game. Diplo game's way better. Anyways, I mean, Red's score is really high right now. Red isn't ahead in Eco, so I'm a little bit confused why Red's score is so high. But I guess it's actually it's all very close. So T90 is bad at Diplo confirmed. Yeah, I, I, unless I'm actually playing poker, I have an awful poker face. Like as a person, I am an awful poker face. Uh, I, I tend to have my heart on my sleeve. I am, when I'm playing poker, I'm a good poker player. There, uh, you know, their things are fine, but, uh, listen, I don't want to brag, all right? But when I was, I turned 21, I drove to Atlantic City, all right? And I wanted to gamble. So I drive there, I, oh, are these knights from Red? What is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is Red coming in here with army? Actual army? Is there a king exposed? This is definitely a little suspicious. Let me just continue. So, I go to Atlantic City and I want to gamble, right? Now, if you guys have never seen the movie Rounders, then you're not going to appreciate the hype that I'm building here. But if you remember the old, like, Rounders music... Just put that in the backdrop as, I've, as I'm discussing this. I still have no clue why Red is here. What is Red doing? Red says, hi, just passing. Why? Why are you just passing? Why are you in the trees? Anyways, I get there, right? With a hundred bucks. Uh, and I'm like, all right, we're going to be responsible gambler here. I've never played poker, or gambled, or anything in my life. We go in with a hundred bucks. If I lose the hundred bucks, we stop, right? That, that was it. I go in with this amount. That's it. Sit down. And to the left of me is someone with 800 bucks. To the right of me is someone with 500 bucks. And they're just pushing me around with blinds. And if you don't know poker, you still should go back and watch Rounders, by the way. It's a classic movie. They're just bullying me. I know they don't have anything. And they're just bullying me with, with the little these little bets. Because they go for a $20 bet. That's like a fifth of my stack. Right? So, I was patient. Alright? I was patient. And I lured this guy into thinking that he could try and bully me. And then I called. And then, you know, River plays out how I won. And I I check it. Naturally. Stone cold, man. Stone cold. Check it. Even though I'm freaking out inside. And he pushes me all in. And so little first time playing poker T90, like 10 hands in, doubles up on his money. 
And I'm then $100 richer. And what did I do with those $100? That extra $100? Did I get up? And did I, you know, go save that money, put it in a high-yield savings account, and, uh, you know, save for my future? No, I stayed at that table for another six hours, and I lost it all. But it was a great time. And then at 4 a.m., I had a uh, really cheesy burrito with, uh, by, you know, the, the some of the money I had left over, which I really have. And uh, then I went home, and I told my mom I'm never playing poker again. So that's the story. Great story. Horrible story, but uh, it happened. So what's Red talking about here? Oh, geez. Okay, so Red says, Teal, I want to convert some Bombard Cannons from you. Will you allow? I will give you whatever you want. Yes. Teal says, sure. Where are you from? Oh, God. Red says, in real life? Question mark? And Teal says, yes. Want to know if I can trust you? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, okay. Red says I'm from the Ukraine. Oh my god, says cool, I have friends there. I trust you, thanks. Interesting. So maybe, you know, if, if, if you're not from an area Teal has friends, maybe Teal's a very popular individual. Alright, I, I was terrified of where that was gonna go. <laughs> I was terrified! Not gonna lie, there have been some awkward ones over the years, man, where I'm talking over some conversations. That could have been way worse. All right, so they're friends now. There's trust there. And uh, how do you feel about purple between us? The red said, it's fine. And teal says, yes. All right, so for me, that is like... That's like the first real sign of a solid friendship for these two. Red says, let's be friends our side until the very end. Yes. And I imagine those two now have established trust. Purple in the middle, it's like... Purple's not really being involved in these conversations. I don't know how much the purple really matters. So, we'll see. What is the worst conversation you had in a Team 90 community game? If, it, if there was a worst conversation that ever happened in a game, do you think I'd just bring it back up again? It's never been really bad. It's never been really bad. The community's really good. Hmm. So, I guess, like... Red wants Bomber Cannons. Right? But Red Civ doesn't get Bomber Cannons. So, Red asks Teal, can I convert Bomber Cannons from you? But in order to do that, they'd have to enemy each other. Which would be really tricky. In theory, maybe you could have them change their stances to neutral. I'm not really sure. But we'll see if that actually happens. I do see petards are being made right now from Teal. And that would be a sign that Teal maybe wants to kill somebody. Hmm. Okay, so Green, who hasn't chatted much at all, says to everybody, I'm a bit too honorable to my word to scheme. So tell me what's going on. And now Red is going to reach out to Green here and says, Green, are you talking to me? Are you talking? Are you talking to me? And now yellow says, you mean me, green? Literally, everyone's, are you talking to me? <laughs> because Lorhe has been lazy and hasn't done the individual messages. Lorhe has won community games. I don't remember many examples of Lorhe really being a backstabbing type of player. So Lorhe could maybe fall under the category of honorable. Lorhe says to yellow, orange, and gray now, I don't like how the other side of the map is cut us off immediately. Yeah, like, th this is not a sign that Red wants to be friends, right? This is a sign that Red doesn't trust you. Which I think is understandable, though, because they haven't really talked to each other much, so. Hmm... All right, cool. Guys, I was overjoyed with the amount of people on YouTube that remembered Trogdor the other day. Oh my goodness, it made me so happy. Because, like, people on streams, I would say we're split 50-50. Some people knew it, some people didn't. What a memory for me. was really happy with that. 
burninating the countryside. Throw back. So, you know, how's that trade running? Well, blue is included in this trade, by the way. Blue is not included in green's conversation to the team a moment ago. But blue is part of the trade all the way down to this corner. Still very confused why red has two knights here. And red did uh, drop the just passing earlier, which, by the way, we do have the, the passing emote. Hello? Subs. I know, I've been gone for too long. You guys might have even done it. I'm just... I like my emotes, man. Uh, lead upgrade coming in for Lorhe on the Arambai. Arambai are big king snipers, that's for sure. We'll see if Lorhe wants to make a move. Yellow says, just so you know, my chat settings are that green, orange, gray, and blue are able to read. So that is five people in total, including yellow, and then the other three are on the other side. And orange says, good team. And Gray says, are you good buddies with orange or green then, Bacon? Mm. So I guess Silver Lady hasn't talked to the South too much. Blue says, I haven't spoken to green, but want to be friend together. That's cute. Teal is not responding at all. Scary. That's true. You know, it's funny. Like, a lot of times I... You know, it's kind of my job to do so. I see someone doesn't chat, and I'm like, they haven't been very friendly. In reality, half the time, they probably miss it. <laughs> if they were placing farms. <laughs> Gray says, I don't like it when people ignore me either. And Green just said, it's difficult, which I think is just talking about playing the game. All right. Orange, let me build trade, and Green reached out out of fear because of red. That, that's an interesting take. Whoa, whoa. Red says this to everybody. Green, you made terrible mistake. What is the mistake? What is the consequence? Let my unit go. What unit? Has a unit been walled in? Oh. <laughs> the starting Yurumi swordsman has been walled in. <laughs> Red says this is a terrible mistake. <laughs> terrible mistake. Let my unit go or else. The green says, hey, he was he was the man chasing that woman. That's not acceptable. All right. And it looks like she walled them in. She's like, how dare you? I am not single. It says, stop looking at me. Get out of here. All right. She's going to go back to work now. That man is now in prison. And Red says, he was protecting our town. Let him be. Okay, so, you know, you got reasonable cases on both sides. You sneaked to my town with a vill. This is Red. And Lorhe's like, Red, Red is not in his town. Red is in my town. Preposterous. Was there a villager from green? Listen, all we need to know, right? The only thing that really ha matters here, guys, is that... Even though it's over his stupid little Yurumi swordsman, red and green, they don't like each other. They have now found a reason to justify enemy each other. So it's going to go down here, right? And, uh, well, I still don't know where that green villager was. Maybe the green villager was killed. But apparently there was some sneakage at some point from Lorhe as well. So red's going to reach out to... To the teammate that really matters, apparently. Oh my goth. And says, so can I convert a few BBC? Yes. And oh my goth says yes. Purple, who hasn't chatted much at all this entire game, says solely to us, hello stream. Work happening right now. Work happening. But so is gaming. Wait, Purple's working right now? I did not know that. All right. Well, hey. Obviously, Purple doesn't have the stream up as well as work. Because that's against the rules. But Purple just letting people know, hey. I'm working, but I'm just trying to pay the bills so I can spend more time gaming here. Interesting. Red actually sends wood and gold over to Teal to make the bomber cannons. Interesting. And there are monks. Resources in advance. 
Okay, so how do you do this? You, um... You would have to change to neutral. You, I think you could... I think Teal could stay and, uh, as allies to red. That doesn't matter, but red would have to change Teal to neutral and then convert them, maybe? And Gray is upset about something. And I don't know who Gray is upset by. I like how cute Gray's base is, though. That's nice. Red, what are you doing, super sus mate? I guess that was the that was the comment. Yeah, I, I don't know why Gray is, is talking about red, because red is like on the complete other side of the map. But <laughs> it might just be an, uh, a way to say things are sus. And I mean red red has been very talkative here. And Lorhe is ready to go. Bombard cannons are over here for Lorhe with Trebs, with Arambai. This is going to happen soon. Yeah, Gray probably just wanted the Among Us joke. I agree. That's a lot of castles from Red. So, purple's at work, huh? Alright, hey. If you're watching this on stream right now from work, or you're supposed to be working, just smile. Don't, don't admit... Right? If they find the chat logs later, be like, see? You were, we were paying you for this. That would be an admission of guilt. Just smile if you're having a good day. All right? Great. Great. Good stuff. Still wondering, will Red get the Bombard Cannons? I don't know where the monks went. Hmm. Would be funny if Teal walked the Bombard Cannons here to, like, gift them, but then killed the king. <laughs> Yellow says it feels like the Cold War. Remember, we talked about how much Golden Stone is here. Look at all the castles, man. How can the game take this? There's the res, the, the stockpiles, too. Insane. But, like, no one wants to be the first person to attack, especially if they're high score, because then they could would be a bully. So. Uh, thank you, Estee, for the new sub. Thank you, NMNM. Says, no, it's a bit late, but welcome back to Twitch 90. Hope Facebook treated you well. Facebook did treat me very well. It did. The, the platform had some issues, of course, but uh, they, they were amazing for me. So, thank you for the five months. Uh, Corinne Exe, thank you. Appreciate the new sub support. Good to be back. Hold on. Chatter happening. Watch out, Red. Green just asked me if I will go against you. Did that happen? I didn't see that happen. Red says, no, I will kill him soon. Thanks. That's interesting. Yellow kind of overseeing the whole situation. Says, the most likely conflicts are green and red, which is true, and blue and teal, which also could be true. And actually, hold... <laughs> Great timing on that con comment. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing here? Oh my god. Got spotted and Blue says, back off, Teal. Back off. Get out of here. The classic, just a prank, bro. Just a prank. And Teal goes, question mark? I go for gray. Oh, okay. Okay. I go for gray. No. You let me through, question mark? Blue says, you went for me, man. I no. see that. And Teal's like, no. Okay. That's funny. That is really funny. Teal's trying to... Teal won't admit it. How is supposed to get to Gray? I mean, listen, you've already committed to this story, so you have to just... You, you can't just apologize now. You have to stick to the lie. Just don't fight other side, man. So Blue does not trust Gray at all. Blue says, I am scared AF. Okay. There's probably a part of blue. Wait, hold on. Red is turned on teal. But that's to convert the cannons! Alright, converted two cannons. Also did kill some of teal's trade, so you better ally again. And I think that has actually happened. Has this ever happened before, guys? Be careful. Go neutral, no enemy. Enemy, you kill all my trades, says teal. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know if we've ever had someone work together to give a type of unit to somebody else. 
Gray is prepping and waiting and is 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 putting Gray says I'm putting paladins into your castle? Interesting. Blue is very scared. Blue is the Bohemians, though. Bohemians don't have too much to be scared of. I think Gray is trying to be nice here and thinks this is like a good team thing to put paladins into Blue's castle. But that is also something people do when they're trying to surprise and snipe somebody. Red says, you my really freneds. Definitely my. You didn't talk to me at all, man, then to teal. Yeah, Blue's basically like, listen, to everybody else, you're my pals. You're my buddies. You're you're my friends for life. Teal, screw you. You didn't talk to me at all. You were not trying to kill Gray. Teal says that's a lie. Oh my god, you guys got a diplo better. That's a lie. Even if, like, listen, Teal. Even if you want to be friends with this person, you can't accuse them of lying. Be like, oh, I missed it. Don't say that's a lie. Just be all accusatory here. Is accusatory a word? I made it a word. Uh, that's a lie. You talked to me at the beginning and I responded. Blue says, I didn't see then. Sorry. That's why I'm so scared of you. Okay. All right. Well, somebody's going to have to rip the band-aid off. Somebody's going to have to fight. In an ideal world, you would be fighting alongside somebody. You would have a brother or sister of arms to go to battle with. So, you know, I'm talking to you, Red. I'm talking to you, Green. You have some people that could potentially back you up here. So I would say maybe talk to them about that. What it takes to show you I'm friends is Teal the Blue. And Blue says, just don't walk through me with petards and cav. <laughs> that would be enough. <laughs> Green says, so T90 is either talking about painting a squirrel or about making a lobby because we are too peaceful. I'm not talking about painting squirrels, but yes, I did tell the story. It's on the extras channel. If you would like to hear about the time that I performed a very smart and ahead of my time science experiment. Lorhe wants to fight, but is realizing I'm probably, I could be bored at this point in time, but I am not. I'm used to this. Blue says they don't have the APM for this. Green says neither have I. And Orange, finally speaking my language, says, are you up to smash on yes. red? And I think people are going to say yes to yes. this. And it would be multiple people up against red. So, I'm still a little confused in how this is going to play out. I actually... My excited, the, the thing I'm most excited for with this is actually Lorhe's reaction when Slavs have Bombard Cannons. Yes. Awesome. I would like to think that like, Lorhe will notice that, and then let's say next week Lorhe's playing ranked and gets Slavs, and then is like, oh, Slavs get Bombard Cannons. Sweet. I learned that the other day in T90's community game. <laughs> or like, everyone who skipped ahead in the YouTube video and didn't hear the context is going to see bomber cannons and be like, oh, new patch, huh? Slavs get bomber cannons. Nice. I just want this to confuse one person. Just one. I don't, I don't care who. And I, that would make me happy. Conversation continues, of course. Uh, I don't know, man. Wanted to harm my friend. Not sure if we can trust Teal. Yeah, so Blue is saying I can't, we can't trust Teal because... Even if Teal wasn't going to kill me, Teal was kill going to kill Gray. And Gray is a friend. Blue, uh, Red says, Purple, I need help ASAP. But Purple's also at work. So I guess we have to hope that Boss isn't walking by. I mean, Purple's got Trebs and Cataphracts and might actually come help. Anyways, it has been a campy game, folks. It has been a campy game. And we'll, it's going to go from 0 to 100 really quick. But all the context matters, right? It really does feel like blue, gray, yellow, orange, a tough team to crack. Green, I think, is involved with them as well, of course. And we have the Savar here, new unit for the Persians. Basically a better version of a Paladin in most ways. It is cheaper to upgrade. It is has slightly less HP, but it's got... Same amount of attack and more armor. Ferris in chat says 5v3s are not fun. Rip. 
Yeah, but but think about it, Ferris. 5v3s are not fun if unjustified. Who is red talked to? Red is talked smack to green. And red is then talked to purple and teal. And teal then was not really the nicest with blue and tried to snipe blue. And obviously purple is a working man. Purple's trying to make some, you know, finish the hours for the week. So it kind of makes sense. I can help you if we focus left corner. Let's make pincer movement. This is red to, to gray. Okay, the silver lady is going to snitch so fast. It's... Oh, just wait for it. I can sense it. Silver lady is super dedicated to that team. Oh, yeah, here we go. Silver lady freaking out about it. Oh, uh, guys, red is PMing me. Called it! Guys, red is PMing me. Making plans. What do I do? This is too much power. I'm bottom score. They want to do a pincer attack and take out the whole left side. They want me to join. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a snitch because Gray is, is just telling the team. So it's not really a snitch. I think Gray is very scared, though. Hmm. I mean, someone's got to make a move. Red and perp seem like not friend kind of folks. I got you covered, I hope. Yeah, it's going to be 5v3. So guys, Big Tasty Bacon is sitting on an obnoxious amount of resources, by the way. I mean, so is Oh My Goth, I suppose. Look at the food count, though. So much food there. So, I mean, Yellow's going to be able to go a long time in this game. Yellow's got castles everywhere. Yellow also seems to be like the heart of this team. Isn't on the flank. Whoa! Hello? Hello? One second, what's happening? PC. What, what did I do to do that? I don't even know what I pressed. Is that a keyboard thing? <laughs> I wasn't touching anything. <laughs> I wasn't touching anything. <laughs> I just replaced my keyboard and mouse, so I don't know. <laughs> that was super freaky, man. Guys, this is like way too much talk. It's actually too hard for me to follow this talking right now. It basically, it's a whole lot of chatter to come back to the same thing. Red can't be trusted, teal can't be trusted, purple can't be trusted. And green bring pretty much sums it up here and says tensions are rising. Everyone's waiting for green, for, for myself or red to start this attack. Oh my, 24 trebuchets here from purple. You pressed alt tab? I didn't yes. though, that's, that's weird. Like, I've literally, I'm just sitting here with my hand on my mouse. I don't have my hand on the keyboard, so. Okay, here comes Orange. Orange has walked through that gate from purple. I'll attack. Purple streps in the back. Then we go frontal. A war. Okay, so we're going to attack. Green seems very concerned about Lady. I'm not sure if Green is talking about this Lady or the Silver Lady. But anyways, here we go. Finally, a declaration of war. They have spotted oranges through. And the Savar shouldn't really accomplish that much. And Silver Lady picked up on the chatter there. And wants to know why Green would want to protect her. But, I mean, we'll see. Bombard cannons here. Four Bombard cannons from the Slavs here in defense. Oh my god, no. Don't tell me they go down. Green says, Red, this is a former declaration. Your Rumi chasing the woman will be used as Cass's belly. Okay, well, thank God we finally have action here. It took us some time. Big fight. Trebs really need protection. The Cataphract should be able to protect, but they have to change their alliances here. Now, 800 years of, of friendship, but there was a lot of turmoil on the borders especially. And here we go. Bombard cannons and trebs here from orange and from green starting to take out the fortifications. And here we go. And should be pretty crazy. 
I'm just wondering how consistent the support's going to be for red here. Coming in from purple. Purple's got the army now. But it doesn't seem like purple's really prepared to fight just yet. Keep in mind, teal is also on the other side. And teal made it no secret that blue wasn't necessarily to be trusted. Teal isn't necessarily helping here either. Yellow is able to help. So we've got orange, we've got green, and we've got yellow all fighting together. So in the fights, it's 3v2 at the moment. T90 explain to us what that is. I don't need to explain that to you guys. You guys are all well-informed individuals, just like I am. So <clears throat> don't need to explain what that is to you. Guys, nothing is happening. Someone needs to make a move, says Gray, who has apparently missed all the action that is happening down here. But I'm sure soon it'll be noticed. Bombard cannons. Sniping the trebuchet there. I thought move towards perp and red was on the table. Watch teal for sure, says blue. So blue and gray are in wait mode. Blue and gray aren't as strong as the other players. They seem very loyal. And they're waiting to see how pan things pan out. And I wonder if Teal will get restless and potentially make a move. And oh my god, goodbye to the Aram by! Actually, did a... No, no, that's that's not good. I was going to say, initially, the micro actually looked better than I thought it was going to be. But the Aram by wanted to dive to kill the Bombard Cannons. Like, hey, that's not fair. You're not supposed to have these. And that's not going to do much for Lorhe. Actually, really tricky to know what to make as the Burmese here. Elephants, actually, might be your best idea. Anyways, Red signaled this king after researching treason to just let the others know where that king is, but I don't know who exactly is going to want to go for that snipe. And the push begins. Here comes Purple with the Cataphracts and the Trebs. Purple still at work, apparently. I like to think that right now, Purple is getting a call on his phone, or maybe his boss has walked over to his cubicle, and Purple has tabbed out. Yes, that's it. Purple is tabbed out now. Yep, yep, you see this? Purple is like, I have to work for a second, so I'm going to send the, the Trebs back, and then hopefully when I come back, I wouldn't have lost anything. Blue's still chatting up a storm here. Green Teal is about to snipe you. In the mid, he has army. And there is an army. That's true. So Blue, Blue's just trying to let Green know. But I doubt Green can really pay attention to that. Like, it, it seems like people in this game, we have a mix of people who are very attentive to their chat. And then other people are just busy fighting or just missing some messages. And people get really... You know, if they don't get a response... They get really worried about that. Okay, Orange notices this. Orange says Teal is after me. And so Orange is sitting next to the Trebs. Now, will Teal turn on Orange? Orange says hi there to Teal. I think Blue and Gray need to be pushing Teal right now, right? And that's exactly what's happening. Yes. Blue says, Gray, let's help with attack on Teal. He's aggressive to our friends. And yeah, that would be the right play. I don't give Teal that opportunity to have success with the aggression. Look at the red paladins. I, I, the red pal That's actually a good thing. I think the red paladins are gone now, guys. I think they died. Yeah, this castle killed the paladins. They were walled in at one point, but good memory. Okay, Onager and Trebs. Teal's just going to go for the move anyways. Teal did say to Orange, not interested in you. But, Orange, that yes. would mean that Teal is interested in someone else. And if an explosion happens near your base, it could kill your king. And, whoa, 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 what? Oh, I know what just happened. I know what just happened. It was not the flu, guys. All right? It was not that. Teal deleted this because Teal's freaking out about an attack at home and needs population space. So, pretty crazy play to see there. Someone delete 50 army. But the reason for that is to quickly get defense at home. Because blue's coming in, gray's coming in. And finally, you know, blue and gray, they show up for the team and this is the right call. Because right now, obviously purple is preoccupied helping red on this side. It just kind of felt like, you know, diplomatically anyways, like, 
this was going to be a 5v3 with how things played out. And I think red ate things a little bit too obvious, perhaps. Red also being top score doesn't help, right? And green says nice attack gray and blue, so they're all working together here. And Berbers should be pretty good against the Burgundians with their camels and camel archers. But if it's Halb, who's Nitsa here from blue, things are not going to look good here for Teal pretty soon. And red and, and purple continue. Has purple done anything with these traps? <laughs> purple. <laughs> purple wheels forward again with the traps. Only to realize, oh no, I don't have protection for them. And it's going to roll away. Or at least not use them. Anxious to use the trebs, I'm sure. Castles from Teal going down. And Teal's putting up a pretty good fight. There's not a ton of halves here from Blue. Camel Archer Camel could maybe do something, but it just does feel like... Eventually... Ooh, Siege on a Druid support. Eventually, this is just going to be bad for Teal, right? Like, everything's going to fall apart. Maybe I'm wrong. There, there's a massive army. And a, a nice clear-up's coming as Blue. Really worried about this. Is asking for help. All right. Good stuff. It does feel like Teal is probably the stronger player there, which plays its role. Gray is the weakest player in the game in support of Blue, who's, who's the, mid, the mid score. Um, Purple's Trebs are now unpacked, and Blue turns on Purple as well, but I think Blue's just, just thinking ahead here. Purple, there's no reason for that, except for them. they're just thinking about the teams. I really want to know what purple does for work. I really want to make jokes about it. Hmm. Whoa, did you see that? This is not really new. I mean, it is because they, they came out with a new patch to fix the game. But the fix actually introduced teleportation. Ready? Whoop! You want to see it again? Ready? Whoop! So yeah, that's that's the new and improved patch right now. Um, thankfully, that hasn't affected the game. Hopefully, kings don't teleport. What if kings could teleport away from a snipe? But yep, that's our new pathing. It just becomes more and more of a joke <laughs> every single time. It's unbelievable. And purple's going in with the trap. Purple, no! Purple, no! Oh, this can't work, right? Where are you going? Okay, well... Honestly, at this point, if purple loses the trebs, it's probably good for red. Because th this is just 25 pop space that hasn't done anything for purple. Will purple even take out a castle? <laughs> That'd be so sad. Please get one. No way. This one's close. No way. At least get one building here. Okay, got one. There we go. Worth it. Hmm. I mean, props to red, right? Red, green, yellow. They've all been super consistent in these battles. And props to... Oh, my God. Who's making progress. And red is over here in support. Now, gray needs to have consistent follow-up. That's a big problem right now for gray. There's a lot of units in these castles I'm seeing. Before, gray's strategy was to have units here. And then, like, kind of... Okay, no, there is follow-up now, actually. But to have units in the castle... But Silver Lady's kind of struggling to keep consistent support there. And this would be huge, right? Because this is a 5v3. So if they could kill Blue, Gray could go down next as well. And, and you know, obviously that would be kind of bad. Speaking of King in the north, apparently, for Gray. Behind the market, I noticed it wasn't garrisoned. Now some progress from yellow and green starting to be found over here. Slow and steady. That's going to take some time. But again, really important right now for the five alliance that gray and blue hold on and they respond. But, you know, it doesn't really seem to me like there's going to be any backstabbing right now. I think it's just they're going to need one or two players is going to need to be killed off before that would happen. Notice yellow is streaming some uh, eagles in, which could be pretty strong with the Incas to try and support a little bit. And blue says this is too much for me. 
Like, this is not what I signed up for. This is too much warfare. I'm a man of peace. And Teal now says 3v1. Yellow encouraging blue right now. Gray encouraging blue. It's stressful for everybody. But this is how the cookies have crumbled to get here. Dude, I can't wait. I, I cannot wait to have my mom's chocolate chip cookies when I go home for the holidays. Oh, I cannot wait. Red is chopping through here. Oh, that's pretty sneaky. Uh, trying to ram through, though. And it lo does look like this has been noticed. But yeah, dude, my, my mom makes the best chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I'm so excited for that. There will be a fair fair amount of self-loathing afterwards. Hey, wow, Red just converted two more bomber cannons, guys. Look at that. Two more bomber cannons, all right. It's a lot of skirms here. And uh, Blue, Blue's still just holding the line. Holding the line, which is great. Look at this trade route, sheesh. That trade route is keeping this team strong. There's not as healthy a trade route well, the trade route itself is healthy, but there's just not quite as much trade working there. But then again, it is three players. Uh, by the way, the stream should not be lagging. It is just the game. There's a lot happening. Um, the game's just slightly stuttery, but it's not too bad. So I just saw someone say the stream is lagging. It, it's probably just because the game's so insane right now. Proto, what's up? Says, found you on YouTube. Facebook was cringe for me to even watch there. Super glad you're back on Twitch so I can watch the live streams. Hey. Glad to not make you cringe here, my friend. Uh, thank you very much, though, for the two months. Also, Zybzek with 60 months. Not to make uh, the two-month sub look bad or anything. And Adrian with the 56 months. Thank you, guys. It's been a long time, people. It's been a long time. Gray says, I did not want to aggressively put military buildings in your base, so it takes a little bit to get to you. That's really smart thinking. That, that, that's like... That is very well described. That that explains... I, like, I, I was a little critical of Gray not having buildings close by. But, like, that it makes sense, right? Gray can't support quickly enough because Gray didn't want to build military buildings in Blue's base because Blue would get upset by that, so... I mean, Red is making progress. And if Green dies, I mean, Orange dies, and potentially Yellow dies... Also, the kings for orange and green are in the same area, so if one of those kings were to die, explosion would take the other one out. I don't see prog a ton of progress ever being made from Teal. I think Teal is going to be in a constant state of stabilizing and holding. Blue is the potential to push, though. The Hufnitsa, if they find a moment to breathe, they could take out the castles. The king is actually still in that tower, which is easy to forget about. Red has actually played insane this game. Has converted so much with the monks. We'll actually start to convert elephants now. So it's converted Bombard Cannons and War Elephants. And we'll see if the support from Purple is going to be there. Purple has been here with Cataphracts pretty frequently. Which has been great. And I think Green is really starting to struggle right now. To deal with all this. Orange did have some Savars towards the middle. To take some of these buildings out. But this is a grind. Tommy says, this is like 10 FPS for me, but probably my laptop. Yeah, it's not too terribly bad for me right now, so. T90, honest question. Were you the voice of Santa on Oh Santa from VeggieTales? I actually don't know that one, Lusty Murfax. As a big uh, VeggieTales OG, I don't know if I know that one. So... Uh, I don't know if I should be offended or not. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Chap likes pizza. Choo Choo Train, thanks for the 42. Isidore, uh, Lemon Scotta, Fallbrook, thank you. Also, a uh, very general shout out to anyone who happens to come in from YouTube and Prime Sub with the free Amazon Prime Sub when I'm not online. That is what I assume happens when I come to my computer and I see a couple people with primes overnight. This is what I assume happens, but it could be wrong. Santa was Bob in that? I do remember some... Like, I didn't watch a lot of the holiday ones. 
You know what I do remember Veggie Tales wise is um uh Buzzsaw Louie. There's like a Christmas Buzzsaw Louie Veggie Tales. Oh man, don't get me started on Veggie Tales. As if you guys needed more reasons to know that I was a sheltered child growing up. Wow, what a I mean this has basically been a big team game. Ooh, wow, look at this. Oh wow, a push from yellow with keeps. And this is this is heavily fortified, right? Oh, and gray can run through as well. Oh, this is going to be tough. Teal's going to break soon. Yeah, we are probably like 5 to 10 minutes away from teal being broken. Which means teal will have an exploding king, which is desperate. And I would not want to be blue when that day comes. Someone says, honestly, peacetime was about as eventful as wartime. I disagree. This has been some great battles. This is this has been... I mean, look how many units have died, right? Thousands of people have died in battle. And we've had notable unit types. We've had back and forth fights. Red was making progress. Green was making progress. That's gone back and forth. But it does seem like the team with the greater numbers are making moves. And Teal is actually on the move. Now, my game's starting to lag a bit more now. I think when people die, it'll probably smooth out. And Teal says, I'm dead, my friends, but says that only to Orange. <laughs> Which is not intended. I mean, if you're going to die, ideally, you help your team by using your king in some way. So, I, I, it seems to me like Teal is more so looking to just survive and not wanting to give it up. This is not how Oh My Goth envisioned the community game. Teal wanted this to be the legend of Oh My Goth in the title. And, well, looks like Oh My Goth has given up on those dreams for now. Again, Red will likely be next. Purple maybe after that. Could be a good time to maybe make some deals. Um, you know, and start to... You know, if the writing's on the wall for you, if you're purple, maybe try and find a way to stay in this. But I think, like, in these types of games, you've basically chosen your side. Looks like Teal was trying to make a move here against Blue. It was actually spotted with Petards and, and Camel Archers. But, yeah, you've, you've chosen your side. You've made your bed. Now you've got to lie in it, right? Yo, what's up, Geeky Gator? Good to be back. Thanks for coming back, my friends. A uh, very long name that probably is German. Thank you for the two months. Uh, I was not going to try that one. King is down here for red. King is here for teal. And blue... Almost can't believe it. it says, are we winning right now? How? And yellow says, we better be. <laughs> Because it's 5v3 right now. <laughs> yeah, they're making progress. It seems like... <laughs> Yellow has a little bit more confidence in the situation than the other two on the right side. But no chat from Teal. Teal said we are dead friends, but said that to Orange. So, so like, Teal... Is basically on his deathbed right now and is hoping for some comfort from Purple and from Red. He's received none of it. And they just, like, honestly, it comes down to if, if these players come to me later and say, what could I have done differently? Red being a little spatty with green was maybe unavoidable because they were both strong players. But I think it comes back to teal and blue. But teal did say I reached out to blue. Blue never responded. So maybe that's part of it. Dre has lost the mouse pointer. That said pointier. OMG, the battery in my mouse just died. Okay. <laughs> That's a little awkward. <laughs> Guys, one moment. Yes. Hold on. Oh, they, they actually paused. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I guess it would make sense. So they paused, which means they had time for Diplo chat while the game wasn't running. Okay. Guys, one moment. Battery in my mouse died. Blue then reaches out to Teal and says, Sorry, man, I was scared of you. Red says, What is our plan? Um, Red says, I'm dying. Purple says, Looking tough. 
And that was it. I expected a lot more chatter there. It didn't happen. Okay, so we continue then. Uh, and I, I assume the mouse is now charged. Um, Lou talks about vomit, which is great content. Um, oh my god, says if a king explodes near a castle with a king in it, does it kill the king? And Orange says yes. Okay, so Teal doesn't know that. I wonder if Teal is thinking about taking out Red. Because that's where Teal's king is right now. I forgive you. Can we be friends now? Wait, what's happening? Red is reaching out to Blue. Yeah, I guess Teal doesn't want to give up yet. Which is, which is fair. Red also reaching out to Blue... Blue feels bad, and Blue says, I can hold them back a little bit, but they're going to finish you anyways. Oh, wow. Red goes, Red goes, wow, what a great friend. Don't touch beyond purple. We're struggling on our side. Blue says, okay, I will hold back. Blue has no reason to really do that. I just kind of find it funny that, like, Teal is near dead, and Red doesn't even, Red's just like, you could take what's left to his base, but don't take purple. I mean, even taking this area, though, destroys the trade route. So that, in and of itself, is enough to have an effect on this side. Dang. And, and I mean, like, th this is not going to take long. Um, I know the castles are cheap for red and all that, but... I think a couple of trebs coming forward or cannons coming forward will take out these castles. It might take a bit, actually, but that's a lot of elephants, lots of arbs. And there goes Teal. All right, so Teal was just given information by Orange, funnily enough, that if a king is in a castle and you it dies, it can kill them. So Teal feels like, you know, I've been forgotten here. I'm going to die. T90 always says that we've got to make sure that players go out in a, in a fun way. Now, Gray signaled Teal's king because Gray just researched trees and is signaling all the kings right now. But who will Teal try and go after here? Yes. Okay, we had a pause. That was apparently an accident. They're starting the game again. And we have a wonder going up from who? From Red. That's actually epic. Way to go, Red. That's the way to do it because you're screwed otherwise. And Yellow says, crap. That's a great idea. I'm going to try that too. So we've got a wonder victory. We've got two people with wonders. Can we get a third? Gray's like, what? Blue's like, huh? And people don't really know exactly what's happening. Meanwhile, th they have now forgotten about the king because of the distraction with the wonders. And Gray's like, I can do that too. And there's a boar on the wonder foundation. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. So three people making wonders. And everyone's forgot about the king. I love this. Guys, before every game, I tell them. It's wonder and relic victories possible. Kings explode. I remind people. Wonder victory is great for big stalemate games. A fourth person's going to try a wonder now. Lorhe's going to try a wonder. And Teal wants to kill somebody. But Teal has to somehow make it. Uh, Gray says, this game is taking forever. I'm turning on allied victory. Okay. No! No allied victories. No! We no like. Please no allied victory. Oh, God. Is that getting attacked? There was a leftover eagle. There's a leftover eagle. Oh, my God. has been spotted. That is going to be the end for Teal. Now, everyone's going to panic here. If they're really thinking about it and they notice this, they're going to panic. Everyone is going to look at their base. And Teal says, did my best. Salute to you, Teal. It was just rough, right? It was three people versus five. You did make your sneaky play against Blue, but Blue spotted you. Finally, somebody dies as four wonders are going up. And there goes the explosion. It's a massive explosion. All right, so here's the deal. I don't think bottom score Silver Lady is the person who wants to win this Wonder War. Silver Lady has been a wonderful friend and ally and companion for people. I'm not sure Silver Lady is the 
fight off seven other people or six other people because the wonder is is, is the up first type of person, you know? And so you should probably stop building this. <laughs> um, Because this is just going to immediately make you a target. And it, it, it's actually perfect for our entertainment, right? Because if Red got the, one, the wonder up first, Red would be the target. But actually, the order of players that should be targeted with wonder victory would be gray. Very beautiful wonder. Would be yellow. And then red. So this actually maybe gives red a chance, especially if purple's still here to support. Why does green have a castle in the back of my base randomly? This is gray. So gray doesn't like that. I mean, there's multiple. It, it might have something to do with that beautiful little building you just built, which looks amazing, by the way. Look at the little statue at the top. Look at his little pointy stick. Yeah, what, I don't even know what the dude's standing on right now. Is he standing on the devil? He's standing on a... I don't know what that is. It looks like a, a, a thing, a creature. A, probably maybe the devil. A demon sausage. Yeah. So anyways, it looks cool, right? But look at the countdown now. 330 years till Grey wins this game. Now, Grey said that like, hey, we can go allied victory. But that would require other people to turn on allied victory. And you don't necessarily have to actually do that. Now, that is an option that could give Gray's allies victory. I think they have to accept allied victory too. And nobody wants that. They're still pushing red. Red's wonder has not gone up. Remember, kings do explode. We'll see what happens. The St. George slaying the devil. Yeah, it looks like the devil. Standing on top of the devil. Beautiful wonder. Beautiful wonder. Uh, I made a video on destruction animations, and this was one of the best ones to delete. It looks so cool when it collapses with the tower and the statue. All right, so we got wonder number three up. Here we go. So this one, not quite as not quite as, as schmancy, in my opinion. It is very different architecture, though. I like it. No devils being smited. How's the Inca wonder look? This is the wonder that Dave once called the moldy wonder. Obviously, it's not mold. It's moss. It looks very cool. I would prefer to hike up this wonder versus all the others. Cool stuff. All right. Gray says, and I think Gray is being honest here. Allied victory is something you can toggle. If we all have it on and one of us wins, we win together. But if we all have to do it, it's a trust thing. The red apparently forgot to set someone to enemy. Blue says, do we really want to win with Wonder when only one is dead? 11. Oh my god, Gray is just the most loyal. Gray says, I put my Wonder on the trade because I trust my allies. <laughs> <laughs> what a statement. That is going to make people feel so guilty if they ever attack her Wonder. Yeah, I trust my team, so I put the trade there. Pe people don't like allied victory people want death people want destruction i would be shocked if gray ends up surviving this blue says i fully trust only you gray look at these bomber cannons go down right now red is actually going to hold a while longer here bomber cannons go down halbs and skirm still fighting green's wonder is still on the way up by the way is being built by three villagers so i'll see you in 10 years. Hmm. Army count for red's insane. Army count for purple's insane. Red's not going to be killed anytime soon. And purple now turns on gray. Because I guess gray has shown up with some units. All right. Do you think I could get away with a quick bathroom break here? I think the only fighting that's really going to be taking place would be here. Um, I could just show this area. Blue is kind of sort of thinking about moving, but not really making moves. And gray research trees and most likely to find out the king location of red. But again, that's in this corner. So... 
Uh, here's what we'll do. So I, I have always been very clear with this that my live audience is the source of all my powers and knowledge. So, live viewers, how many do we have? Two and a half thousand people. You guys cast the game now, okay? I'll be back. Okay, I have returned. Stellar effort from some of you, other people. I expected better. Um, sorry to scare you. I don't think we've missed too much here. Blue is slowly starting to make progress like we predicted. There's probably some conversation I missed. Um, but right now, I think if red can hold... The longer red holds on here with this wonder victory the better the chances are that Grey ends up winning and, and then maybe has allied victory with some people. So we'll see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that like a whole group of units teleporting? No, it was just one or two. Okay, well, teleportation bug. Wait for it. And whoop. That guy just went from here to here. Lots of army here from green and from... Uh, and from orange as they're trying to push this hill. Pretty cool last stand here from red. Like, red is by far the best player in this game. It's played insanely well. Just hasn't really had that many teammates. Obviously, purple has put up a, a lot of help here, but I think purple is also going to struggle to do that in the long run. And I actually see purple's moving. Red said here. Guys, what? Why is purple saying the king is en route? Purple said bleep bleep for you. The game won't let us say it. Signal when to sack. Purple's gonna sacrifice the king to save red. Whoa, so would have to die in the battlefield? That's the plan? Or is this gonna be, is the king gonna go to someone's base? Oh man, I mean... I don't know about this one. This is going to be rough. I mean, the, the wonder could go down anyways. The king from purple is doesn't want to do it. He's lived his whole life in luxury, thinking he could be a great warrior. But when it actually has come to this moment right here, he's facing who he truly is. Sorry, the capture age is a little bugged with everything that's happened in this game. Here we go. Now, if rally points are set beyond this, the units are not going to attack the king. But the castle fire will. And so there's the castle fire. Dead king. It was an honor, Red, says Purple, as Purple goes back to work. And now the player who Purple just sacrificed for is also dead. So they they, they die at the same time. There will be an explosion that will hurt green and orange's buildings, but it will not kill green. And that obviously means that's the end of that initial three-person alliance. Explosion happens there. I would definitely get out of here with your army if you can do so, Orange. And, ooh, actually wasn't too bad. So Gray doesn't even know what happened. <laughs> Gray says, what happened? I missed something. To be fair, Gray's pretty far away from all this. So now, guys, Yellow's got to wonder. Yellow's top score of the people remaining and yellow is just 10 years behind Gray's Wonder. Your days are numbered, Silver Lady, and you need to recognize this. Now listen, whether or not you want to agree with the plan of Allied Victory or not, that's, that's fair. Some people like it, some people don't. But I think we should at least recognize that Gray should recognize there's a target on her back now, right? That is the direction this goes. You've got the countdown. You might have been friends with Blue and all these players for so long. But they are going to need to make a move. Now, Blue says what to do to everybody. And Gray's trying to convince them. Allied victory can work if we all check it off, though. I'm scared now. Yeah, so Gray knows that this is going to be an issue. Now, in, like, very distant third place, Lorhae's Wonder will complete very soon. I'm excited to see it. Um, But Lorhae... Pretty much speaking the truth here, says allied victory isn't allowed in community games. I don't have a rule against it. I just have always talked down about allied victory. That, that would be the way I would describe it. 
And anyways, Twitch chat, you can all use the Craigasm emote here in a second because it's going to look beautiful and wonderful and we rarely see it. And oh, look at that. Beautiful stuff. Not near as tall as some of the other wonders, but is just as majestic. All right. Um, Gray says, it is allowed. T90 said the whole standoff thing was getting super old, remember? That's true. I did say that. They're both basically correct. I like how Gray was like, am I the only one that watches videos here? <laughs> uh, let's see what Blue says. Blue says, I don't want to fight you. I will attack yellow just for fun. 11. Wow. So Blue is on Team Gray. That to me makes sense. Yes. So like in the case of Gray and Blue, I think an allied victory makes sense because they fought together that whole time. They seem to really care about each other. The others, they didn't really work together with them, right? Hmm. Gray says that sounds suicidal. Bacon is the big guy. But yeah, I mean, like, you got to do something. Also, great deleting trade right now. What's the stockpile? A uh, green is doing that. 22k gold. That's interesting. Gray right too close to victory. 110 years. Fortifications are coming up. Silver Lady wants to have allied victory. Remember, the king also needs to still stay alive here. That king is in that castle. So three wonders are up. Red started all this. But is yellow ever going to move? If, if blue has even half decent support here, gray wins this game. I think Gray can do this. And then the others don't get a share of the victory because they are choosing to attack her. Oh, wait a second. There's literally Trebs right here. Gray says, I see those Trebs yellow. Well, Gray, you might want to attack them because they are here to destroy something. Trade will die most likely because of the battles here. Green's coming forward. Blue says, let's make it fun. Meanwhile, Yellow's thinking, you know what's fun? Winning is fun. Holy crap. Wait, what? 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 what? Yellow's making a move against Orange. Huh? Whoa. I wasn't expecting this. I don't think Orange was expecting this either. There's a king somewhere. The king is there. The eagle maybe saw it, maybe didn't. The king dies. To Lorhe! What? Holy crap! So, a big move was made. Lorhe was also being attacked by Orange, so the, the three stronger players are all going down against each other, basically. Explosion will obviously happen. Orange is out of the game. Here, though, Green should be able to stay alive, because Green is fighting against a player who's now defeated. And Orange says, good allies are better than bitter enemies after being defeated there. All right. Alas, I am defeated. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Meanwhile, 60 years for Gray, who's just going crazy with castles as Green is going to slowly make a push. Oh, wait. Is Green attacking? Huh? Huh? Green is attacking Yellow. This is I was not expecting. Everyone's against Yellow, which means the wonder still stands for Silver Lady. They're all going after yellow, knowing how things would pan out if Gray's Wonder were to get taken out. Silver Lady's been an extremely kind ally, and everything's falling apart for Big Tasty Bacon. Big Tasty Bacon did not expect this. It seems like Gray's in a good position to maybe get this victory. Wonder will fall. King will still be alive, though, for yellow, at least for now. And Silver Lady... Has got to be feeling good about this situation with so much support. Is helping with some onagers. Does have castles to maybe make some army. Blue's pumped for Silver Lady right now. And Gray says, you know what? I want Gray to say, I want this win for myself. You are under no obligation to take allied victory. None. You literally just, just turn it off. Give us some drama. Green says, I know a lot, yes. Yeah, they're wondering, like, what is Gray going to follow up with? 
I mean, there's nothing around the wonder that can destroy it, right? Oh, revolution! That's what it is. Gray rev revolted. Said, you know what? And then revolted with the villagers. Has clicked the button. And now it doesn't have villagers to repair. <gasps> no! What are you doing? No! You trust your allies far too much! You don't have villagers to repair anymore! Green says, Green, what are you doing, mate? What do you think Green's doing here? Uh, 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 this is crazy. This is crazy. Green is turned. Gray is not. Wonder, 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 wonder. Hi, wonder. Oh, my goodness. Lorhe just strolled right in. And now Gray doesn't have bills. Gray doesn't have bills because Gray revolted. And Silver Lady says, No. Oh, man. Disaster time for Silver Lady. And now, guys, Yellow doesn't have a wonder, right? So Yellow isn't next on the list. It's Green. Green now can maybe win this all for himself. Lorhe says, I cannot just let you win. Blue's a little like, come on, Green. Wow. Sick. So... Uh, what do you guys think about this? I like this. I, I think just like letting... When there's five players left, just letting somebody coast to victory would have left me a little bit unsatisfied. So, you know, it's a war game, right? And it was the perfect moment to make your move. And it actually is so much better for green now that orange is out of the picture, right? If orange was still here, obviously things would have gone different. Yellow has also lost a lot of units. Now, I think yellow's stockpile and army count is going to be ridiculous. 55,000 gold for yellow. Um, and yellow right now has 150 military. But still, gives green a chance. It gives green a shot to get this victory. And I also don't think green can do it. You know what would be sick? Blue should make a wonder. This is your time, blue. Actually, it, maybe it's a little too late. But if blue would have rushed a wonder at some point, it would have been smart. Because, like, everyone will focus on the next person that's on the list for the Wonders. I love the chat here from Green. Forsooth, thus is the struggle we fight in. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the attempt. I'm not sure that this is exactly <laughs> how it should be said. Forsooth, thus is the struggle we fight in. <laughs> Forsooth, guys. Forsooth. Hmm. Well, there are four players left, Forsooth. And Lorhe is going to struggle against the Arbalest more than anything. But if Lorhe mixes in some siege, then that could be an answer to the Arbs. The infantry is going to struggle there. Um, Yellow and Gray are still fighting. And Blue is still fighting Yellow, too. Which I, I didn't really show you guys too much. I didn't actually even really realize that. Because I just thought they'd immediately settle their differences here. But that's not how it works, right? They've been fighting each other for a long time. And they're going to continue that fight. And Yellow, obviously, maybe even out of self-defense here, has to, to try and defend. So I think what should happen here on paper is they all ally now. And then they go move out to fight against green. But again, like we said, yellow, blue, and, and and gray have some history. So they don't exactly want to do that. Which is also understandable. But Lorhe is top score. Now, I think yellow could handle blue and gray eventually. But the clock is ticking on the wonder. Which is the, the big thing here, of course. And now gray is going to make another wonder reboomed to get villagers to do this. Remember, with the revolution, all your villagers turned into Flemish militia. And Wonder's going to be going up in a very similar spot. Maybe the exact same spot, right between Blue's Market and Lumber Camp, which is kind of funny. And so Silver Lady going to try again. Now, I don't know why the villagers aren't moving around. There is space over there, but, uh, you know, that'll take some time. But I think it's smart. Like... It's going to be tough for green to do this if everyone works against green. But everyone's not working against green right now, which makes me think Lorhe has a chance. 
someone in chat says just play the game. That's that's part of the game, dude. That's part of the game, man. Guys, this whole game was turned upside down because Red made a wonder. There's multiple wonders that have gone around. It's a big part of these long, drawn-out games where otherwise they could go on for like six hours. I, I There's nothing wrong here with wonders, in my opinion. I think it's good for the game. King for yellow, making a move. Is yellow going to give up? Yellow's getting pushed. Oh, no, yellow might not be giving up. I think yellow might just be trying to flee. That is a big army. Oh, man. Treason research by yellow. No way, dude. Yellow is going to try and kill green with this. And, I, I mean, green's got hussars here, though, so... You have to... Oh, green has moved the Hussars. Green is like, select all army hotkey. Boom. Or does green sense something here? Green fortifying up. May have researched treason. Green's making a big move here. And... Oh my god. Big Tasty Bacon's king is threatened by Lorhe. That's notification. As yellow gets close... Green noticed this. Green noticed this. He's experienced. He sees movement. He doesn't see flags. And the king goes down. So green is already on the way out of here. Now that might destroy this wonder. Which right now is the more relevant thing. So yellow's out of the game. Uh, let's see how this goes. Big explosion will happen. I think it should hit part of the wonder. I'm not sure if it would hit all of it. Obviously, I think if you had part of it, it just goes down because the explosions are massive. No way! No way! That still stands! Holy crap! Okay, so look at this. The houses. I, I don't even fully understand this, actually. What in the... The house on this side goes down, which is a tile off. The barracks and the lumber camp, which is a tile or two off on this side, goes down. The wonder doesn't even get scratched. Wow, that's that's ridiculous. And, you know, it is a circular radius, so it probably just came down to, like, a piece of this, a piece of this hit, but then the wonder didn't. 104 years now. Uh, it did take 3 HP of damage before the explosion, by the way. I noticed the 3 HP there. Wow. Okay, so, you know, now gray and blue get what they want. Blue, me, you, we go against green. And then blue says, yes, always with, with you. And then there's a smiley face. And then maybe later on they'll kiss. But, like, you know, this this makes a lot of sense. They've got to work together against one common enemy. And green said, I thought the wonder would die. And blue says, we have to hurry, but mistyped it. And it's so much funnier to say... We have to Guri. <laughs> uh, so, army count 116 for blue. That death ball's over here. And it's it's a slow death ball, right? So it will roll slowly this direction. But it'll eventually make it pretty close. There's less fortifications now. This is all wide open space. Um, stockpiles... Not looking good on food for Lorhe, but great on gold. Same for blue. Gray, obviously, really struggling. So, gray probably can't do too much. It's all about blue. Gray does have a decent army count that could maybe help, though. Um, It's going to be tough. Like, this is going to be really close. And, oh, no way. Oh, no way. Oh, green. Already sending these elephants. Those were the elephants that were in yellow's base. Maybe some of them were produced from here. But green's elephants are so tanky. They can go in. They could maybe kill Gray's king. Do you go for the wonder, guys? Or do you go for the king here? Blue's making progress. I, I guess you go for the king. And then if you get the king, then the wonder goes down anyways. I don't think Gray's going to notice this. Blue is still making progress. Blue could easily take out that wonder. Remember when I said blue should make a wonder? Like a while ago it was before gray built the new one it would have worked out king is on the move king is on the move for gray king is there faster than the elephants so gray can escape from this it will probably run to blue's base 
Lu laughing about this. Here come those bombard cannons. 50 years to go. And Green does not have the army to defend this just yet. Green, you need to make a move first. those cannons. Sacrifice everything you can to kill those Tufnisa here. Because your wonder will melt. As will Graze, by the way. This is a bad game to have a wonder. There go the Arambai, the halves of the distractions. The Arambai have to get in, but the hoof needs a... They're gonna hoof. And the wonder will fall in both areas. Wonder down for green. Wonder down for gray. Wow. And, um... Anyways, blue apologizes to green, says you were a good ally. I'm sorry. And now where does that leave us? How many wonders went down in this game? Like eight? And like two from from the same person. Now, let's we should immediately look at resources to see who can build another one. <laughs> um, blue could do it if blue bought stone. Uh, per uh, Orange disagrees, by the way. Orange says green was not a good ally. Dot, dot, dot. All right. Tell us how you really feel. Um... What's this orange dot here? Oh, that's the starting Yurumi swordsman from orange. What a funny spot for that. Um, now, blue could do it. Green could do it as uh, again as well. 110,000 food for blue is just ridiculous. I thought that was 109 food. I didn't realize that was 109k. So it certainly has enough food to go around. Gray says, I have enough res to try that insanity one more time, unless you want to do the wonder instead. Yeah, it doesn't feel like blue really has, like, a big wonder mentality. Blue says, I'll just go for him. Where's the king? And you could research treason to find that answer if you wanted to, blue, but blue yes. might not know that. But the king is over here. Gray has researched treason. Gray will probably signal to tell blue where the king is. And does do so. So yeah, um, Arambai are actually really good against gunpowder. Like, like one of the best things to make actually against hand cannons because of how they they fire. Look how many units die with these volleys. It's it's the lack of accuracy on the Arambai where they hit different targets. It's awesome. And oh shoot, literally right on my screen. Sorry, uh, Green is making another wonder. I. I think I kind of showed that to you, but I didn't say words. So we've got another one. All right. And like, you know, 350 years after the wonder completes is what we'll have to wait. That's it. Blue is slowly clearing up buildings towards the middle. And this is Blue's idea to win the game. But apparently no wonder. It has indeed been a wonderful game. So we did do uh, channel points and channel bets before this. And people got to bet on who they thought would win this game. We do that for every game now. I think, I mean, assuming the mods did it, I think I saw it. Um, wondering, though, what people would guess right now. I think Lorhe's the easy guess, right? But it is 1v2. It does kind of feel like maybe one versus uh, one and a half almost. Because, um, Gray, I'm, I'm just not totally sure Gray's got the eco. Oh, we didn't do a bet before? Oh, okay, my bad. Well, we will do that for the future ones if we can. <laughs> I mean, Blue, you've got 112k food. So you could just send some of that over to Gray, and then Gray could support with something. But they're going to do this together. Blue refuses to go for a wonder. Both the kings are in the same castle. Aww. That would be a sick way to finish it, though, if you're green. Uh, Blake, thank you for the two months. This long live Blue. Blue's doing well. Blue's doing a great job. <laughs> I like how Silver Lady and Coley are so friendly with each other. Does that make anyone else happy? I think there are some people that are like, No, we want betrayals. We want heartbreak. Raw, we're here for drama. But like, they're they're pretty cute. Yes. Yeah. And Gray is going to make a wonder again. In, as Gray put it, 
Blue's backyard. <laughs> so Gray is done with this corner. This corner is the devil. We're going to now make the wonder in Blue's base because that's the safest spot. Oh, man. I think Aaron by shred everything here. Aaron by are sick against everything Blue's making. Oh, man. This is so bad for Blue. This is so bad. Well, maybe not. I mean, Hufnita can still connect and, and do some damage, right? Like, uh, earlier when Gray wanted to be to allied victory with five people, I didn't like it. Allied victorying in, in the instance of Gray and Blue would make sense to me. I still don't fully understand why Blue doesn't want to make a wonder. But maybe it's more sweet of a story if Gray doesn't. Surely this one stays up, though, right? Green's extending the walls. It's behind castles. Green's got a crazy army. Green not showing a ton of confidence to maybe make a move against this when I feel like the Arambai could do well. Green is also losing villagers. And then also 330 years is quite a long time. So, we'll see. Gray doesn't have many villagers to build that wonder with. And like Gray's asking for resources, I feel like if you're sitting on these resources, you say here and send like 40k food, 20k wood. Stone is tough to come by though if you're blue. And blue doesn't have trade anymore, so that 23,000 gold isn't going to stick around forever. Does blue just say no? Gray asks for a little bit of stone and blue says no. Well, I guess blue doesn't have stone. That's probably why. Yeah, not thinking maybe stone could be purchased here. But I, I actually, maybe maybe blue is researching like coinage or something in the market. Yeah, getting banking. Okay, so you got to avoid the taxes, guys. All about avoiding the taxes. Uh, IRS, if you're listening, I, I, I pay you guys. I'm just talking about in the game, okay? We're good. Big clear up here with the Arambite, who needs to earn cheap. And hand cannons aren't cheap either, and it all goes down, and blue was distracted with the market. And that is going to delay this push so much more. Gray is going to build the TC out of blue's way in the right corner. And there are the resources. We have gold, we have wood, we have food sent with zero tax. Woo! Zero tax. Sheesh! I knew this game was unrealistic. Anytime I think of tax in video games, I just think of Stronghold. So in Stronghold, you can like set the tax rate for your, your village. And if you don't have taxes, the guy's like, no taxes. <laughs> and then if you set the taxes really high, it's like, I'm a bit sick of these taxes. <laughs> That's not the ex accent at all, but wood needed. There are not enough workers to occupy this building, sire. Your strongholds are growing, sire. <laughs> yeah, big tasty bacon's excited about these towers. Look, let's go. There you go, bacon. It's actually doing work. 63 kills and counting on these towers. I don't know, man. Like, I... Blue has to walk so far, right? Green's got good resources. Gray is in reboom mode. The wonder for Gray is not going to be up anytime soon. Like, I think Green wins this game, but we just kind of have to experience the next, you know, the, the, some craziness until we get there. There is one way that Green and Blue can, uh, sorry, that Blue and Gray can do this. There was one way, and I could see it happening. And that would be with great sacrifice. If, if like, it's getting desperate, will Gray or Blue send their king yes. with their army in the final battle to sacrifice themselves to kill this? They would have to use their king. Oh, man. This got spotted. How did Green spot? I think Green's maybe looking for trade? It was extremely fortunate to be able to run over there. Right? Or am I crazy? Maybe maybe spotted something. Maybe some of that vision's from Blue's Out. No, that's Blue's Outpost. I don't know. 
Extremely fortunate timing on that. Mm, yeah, I don't think... It's not stream snipe, guys, because we're like five minutes behind real time, or so you would think. Also, if you're going to stream snipe and risk playing uh, stream sniping, are you really going to do so to deny a TC from a player who's already dead? <laughs> oh, Gray is literally talking. Gray literally spilled the beans to green. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Making units out of everything I got left. Already on the attack and moving out. Gray is giving green status updates on every move. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. No wonder green knows everything. <laughs> I love how green hasn't said a word. Green's just like, okay, we just shut up and we use the intel. Oh, man. Well, Aaron by Halb should be a pretty good combination. Gray does have a lot of army in support now. 150 army. Silver Lady is spending all of Blue's resources. And they might be able to make some progress here. It's 270 army combined for Blue and Gray on the map right now. And Gray signals and says, Mini base under enemy attack. And of course, is still telling Green this. So the mini base, if you could call it that, is going to be defended now by villagers. But green's got bigger problems. The blue is instructing the enemy to go finish off that TC then. I'm sure we'll see a random villager from gray make, make it there eventually. Wonder from gray about to complete. That'll be wonder number three in the same game. And... Yeah, like, the, the dots next to the player names tells you who the messages are going to, in case you guys are new. So, obviously, gray has a green dot in there, so that is the message is getting passed along to green. They are, though, going Skirmisher now, and Skirm is, is great against Arambai and Halb, so Skirmisher is actually their best type of unit now. Again, they're making progress. Especially if Blue can just loop down here and take that Wonder. I mean, Gray's Wonder is done now. And, like, Green could maybe defend on his own. I don't know if Green can destroy this Wonder and Blue's entire base against two people. That's really tricky. Yeah, the dots that I have here only show up in Capture Age. This is a, a Capture Age version I worked with with the Capture Age team. It does not work like this in the game, unfortunately. Blue's pushing. Obviously, lots of army went down here from gray, but still, Blue's going to pass along some food. That's no problem. The Arambai need to jump on this like they did before, but there's Onagers here too. They're doing it, guys. They're doing it. I think green... And if green is out, I think we see an allied victory, right? Blue and gray seem very happy together. They would never want to fight each other. Oh my god, I almost didn't believe in him. Oh! Boom! Aramai get flattened. Boom! They get flattened again. Split micro, but there's too many onagers. Uh-oh. Hand cannons are also getting flattened. Oh no! Woo! A lot of stuff just died. Blue still has some very weak hand cannons. Gray's coming in here with more. And Blue's making progress. Green's rally points are set in front of this Wonder. Houses are being built around the Wonder as a distraction. Anything to distract this to stop this Wonder from going down again. Great job from Gray and Blue. Look at the buildings from Blue in the middle. Wow. And Green's running with the King right now. I hope Green doesn't run into some leftover units from Red. Because remember, they were enemies. Um, wow, Capture Age is glitched. That's kind of weird. Um, I don't think that's a possibility. But that means that Green recognizes this wonder might go down. It would be really interesting if Green were to ex like delete the king next to Gray and Blue. Because Gray and Blue would like both die at once, in theory. Um, I, I don't know what would happen there. Everyone might die, actually. 
Like, there's three people left. One person's king explodes and kills the other two at the same time. Does it show that the other two won the game or lost the game? Right now, Green's just chilling over here. We have seen situations like that before. And I remember instances, at least pre-Definitive Edition, where the player that was closest to player one in the order would win. Or, or they would be defeated, like, last. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. What is attacking this? Wow, green is to clear out purple's buildings in order to get that king over there. But this is Byzantines. This is going to take forever. That's great thinking, though, from green to notice that. Remember that. And, and have a bombard cannon there. The player one priority was removed in DE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, to my knowledge as well, it was. Oh, Wonders being attacked by skirmishers. Where are the bombard cannons? The bombard cannons are over here. And Lorhe asks for mercy as the villagers just hammer away, trying to keep their most important building alive. The Green's king is not in town anymore, so their leader has abandoned them. But they feel like maybe if they can keep this wonder up, their leader will return. And right now, it, they're keeping it up. Bombard cannons, though, are a problem. Just one volley from that would take out the wonder. And I'm not seeing enough art uh, from green. I think green is too many enemies. There's no way this king makes it over. Yellow's got towers. Purple's got castles. Grace is honestly Coli or Coley, and Coley immediately responds as you would expect with their relationship. Gray is probably typing. You've been such a good friend this game. I want to run my king in for you and give you the win, but. Well, you better stop talking and kill the freaking wonder people. You better stop chatting. Silver Lady says, I can't find the stupid guy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Gray's like, I want to do it, but I can't find it. And now Green's making a move on the cannons. Which means that maybe the Wonders got more of a shot at survival. They're looking for Green, but Green is looking for them. They might need some gold for treason. Looks like some of the Bomber Cannons have survived. Green can also see the messages. True. Let's not forget about that. Green, again, it's just like so tough. How are you supposed to get over there? And Wonder will go down again. There it goes. Very satisfying to watch, unless you're green. And Blue says, reveal yourself, green. I think green's plan is to mass Hussars as a meat shield for castles and towers. That's definitely the plan here. Like, let's look at Green's perspective. Okay, so it's bugged. Um, but, like, Green knows about the castles. Green knows about the towers. So what you could do is you can go box formation around your king. I'm not even kidding. I think Lorhe would know that. Oh, Gray is saying that Gray can't find her own king. Oh, well, it's in Blue's castle. That's funny. I had him hiding behind my market for 90% of the game. I forgot where I put him. I love how unconcerned Blue is about the fact that Gray can't find the king. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So they're going to mark it. I like to imagine that Silver Lady and Coley are going to be playing games on rank together, you know? It won't work out quite the same way, but yeah, Green is, green is going box formation, 100%. Green needs more houses right now to get more Hussars. Watch this. I actually have a vague memory of Lorhe doing this in the past that maybe was on my shorts channel. This is a box formation play. Just wait for it. And Gray says, is this the longest common game ever or what? Blue says, don't know. And Lorhe says, not close. Lorhe should know box formation. Go box formation. You, you don't want the king to be behind. You want the king to be in the middle. Okay. Well, where's the king go here? All right, so the problem is, the problem is, if you go too far beyond the towers, the last couple shots from the towers will still get a hit here. 
Box formation is amazing. Yes. Okay, gray has just signaled the king location. Here goes green. There's no way this should ever get close to them, right? But here we go. This is the end of this crazy game that's past the three hour mark. We've had seven or eight different wonders. Like I said, any ranged units from behind would fire on that king at this point. Sorry, the vision's bugged. Okay, green's trying to move through here. The king did take some damage. Taking a lot of damage and it goes down. And it will not be close enough to destroy the wonder or the, the two lovebirds here. And most likely will lead to an allied victory. They both just have to toggle on allied victory now. And if it actually works, they, they would be able to sail off into the sunset together. Oh, oh my freaking God. Blue's making petards. No way. Blue's making petards. Does Blue know the king is there? You don't even need the petards. You could just eject Gray's king and shoot it. <laughs> Blue says, can I blow your wonder? The gray is happy that Blue didn't die. And <laughs> Blue is going to destroy the wonder. I will, okay? Blue is asking for permission. Which is very kind. Gray says, do you have allied victory selected? The game should be over if you do, I think. And the petards are just in line. No resistance to kill this wonder. I think blue wants the allied victory, guys. Blue wants the allied victory. Blue says, where do I do that? And Gray's explaining. And... Oh! Gray is dead! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, the other thing you can do in the diplomacy options, people is turn someone to enemy. So Blue looked at that menu and had a good little think there. It was like, hmm, I could click Allied Victory, but I could also just take the win for myself and, you know, win this whole game. Wow, what a fun game. I mean, I, I, I don't think Gray would uh, be too disappointed by that result. Gray had a really good game. Gray had, what, three separate wonders. It was still a great um, bond between these two until it, it went down to the very end. But Blue snagged the win. What in the world? They were allied for so long. And the winner of this game was not Big Tasty Bacon. It was not Among Us Carlson. It was not Lorhe. It was Coley. Well played. I think that might have been Coley's first community game ever, by the way. Um, so it, it, regardless of whether it was or not, congratulations. And, and blue played well, blue, blue had to fight. Like, do you guys remember? It almost feels like a completely different game. Um, blue had to defend from teal and, and sense that snipe. Okay. Hold on. People are saying it wasn't intentional. Wait, what? Hold on. Let's look at in-game chat. In-game chat. They're typing. Oh my god, Blue didn't try that. <gasps> Blue didn't even try to get the win. Blue has no reason to lie now. So I wanted to blow the wonder... Wait, hold on. Okay. In diplomacy, sec. Silver lady defeated. What happened, question mark? I don't know. What just happened? I wanted to blow the wonder, Eleven. Okay, well, Blue, I'll tell you what happened, Mr. Blow the Wonder, okay? You wanted to blow the Wonder, but you had to turn on Gray to do that, right? So, you go to blow the Wonder, but what happened was no one knew where Gray's king was, right? Remember, this was pre-established. Gray said, hmm, I don't know where my king is. And all Blue did was like, aha, funny, funny. And so, because the king was here... The second that you turn on the player, the king gets ejected, and then the king gets shot. So that that explains it. Yeah. So, and obviously, we, we know how it ended. So Blue did not want to steal the victory, to be more accurate. Blue wanted, simply, to take out the wonder um, before the game ended there. And, oh my god, I've gone to the wrong scene. I don't even know what scene I just clicked. Did I, did I have my camera on? Was my camera on? I don't know. 
I just misclicked. Um, but anyways, um, we are here, and uh, we'll just go to the end game statistics, I suppose, and and then we could work work on that. Happy accidents, yeah. Funny, funny game, man. Funny, 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 funny game. That that result, though, in my opinion, is funnier than if Blue intentionally tried to steal the victory. The fact that Blue just screwed up the whole Lions thing there at the end is kind of silly. So, um, anyways, there's the KD. Like I said, Blue was very active. It was a really good game. Uh, ultimately, like it was a big 5v3 for a bit. Uh, but can we please respect and salute Red? We would have probably never had a wonder if Red didn't start this. Among Us Carlson, you will be remembered as the player who started the wonder thing. It created a wonderful scenario, wonderful game for us, okay? Um, so well played because nobody else was doing it. You drop a wonder, then suddenly everybody's dropping a wonder. You were the cool kid. So um, res collected, I mean, trade profit's rather interesting, right? And see how important trade was here. Uh, Relic gold, also kind of a fun stat. Obviously, blue passed a lot of resources on towards gray, which was a big deal near the tail end there to push Glorhe. I don't think anyone here will be hugely disappointed with the game. I think that Oh My Goth will be disappointed that Blue spotted the snipe attempt at the start. Um, maybe Young Neji will be disappointed that of all days, I selected, my, my bot selected Young to play today uh, because maybe it seemed like Purple was in the middle of a work day. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun game. It was good stuff. Orange would be a little bit annoyed with Green, but it was always going to happen with so many strong players next to each other that they would turn. A long game, again, around the holidays and the new year. So for those that watch on the YouTube channel, I hope you uh, enjoyed the cast. This was a, a long one. Um, almost two hours of a video here, which is quite a large chunk of your day. So thank you for showing up uh, as I talk about... Uh, I'm not going to say it again. That The, the phrase that, that Blue said that I said way too many times. Now I'm thinking about it too much and it's getting weird. So thanks for watching!